Okay, so when you put it in slope intercept to standard form, okay, slope intercept to standard form. So slope intercept looks like y equals mx plus b. And then you're going to try to put it in this form, which is standard form, ax plus by equals c. So that means you want to get the number in the equation by itself. So it says that a and b and c cannot be fractions. Okay, so you need to make sure that you keep, take note of that. And a must be positive. Okay, 1 is y equals 3 fourths x plus 2. Okay, so you're going to, it says step one, multiply each term by the denominator. The denominator here is going to be the bottom number, which is four. Okay, if the bottom number is four, then that means you're going to multiply every single term by four. So you're going to multiply this by four and the y by four. If you multiply the three-fourths by four, that just cancels out. That's the whole point, because you're going to cancel out your fraction. Okay, so you would have 4 times y, so you have 4y. The whole point is to make sure you don't have a fraction. So whenever you multiply a fraction by its denominator, that cancels out, and you're just left with the 3. So I have 3x, and then 2 times 4, which is just 8. So now you want to move the x over to the other side, because the x and y, if you look up here, x and y are together on that side. So when you move that over, you're going to subtract by 3x. So then over here, you're going to put the negative 3x. Oops, sorry. So you're going to put negative 3x over here, plus the 4y equals the 8. So this is good because you want, the whole, you want the whole number without the variable by itself. You have x and y over here, just like they're up there, and then you have the 8. a to c, okay? Now it says, so we move the x. If a is negative, multiply everything by negative 1. So then we're going to take all of this and we're going to multiply it by negative 1. That makes it where the first number is not negative anymore. So the first number is going to be positive 3x minus 4y minus or negative 8. Okay? And this is okay. It's okay to have the negative for the by and the c this, as long as the first number is not negative. Okay, it cannot be negative. So for each of these, you're going to multiply each term by the denominator. You're going to move the x. And if a is negative, you're going to multiply everything by negative 1. So with the next one, so number 2, I'm going to multiply by the denominator. So if the denominator is 3, is it a negative you can put, yes, you can put negative 3. So you can multiply everything by negative 3. And that means I'm going to multiply by negative 3 over here and negative 3 over here. So I'd have negative 3y equals, that negative would cancel because it's going with the, ne the negative 3 at the bottom. So that would cancel and you would have 2x and then you would have plus 18. And now you can move x over, okay? When you move x over, you would be subtracting it. So you'd subtract it and you would get negative 2x. So this would cancel out. I need more room. So you get negative 2x minus 3y equals 18. And then I have something wrong with this because a is negative. So that means I have to multiply it by negative 1. So I'm going to multiply each term by negative 1. So I have 2x, because a negative times a negative makes a positive. So plus 3y equals negative 18. 
Okay, so if it doesn't, that's your final answer. Um, you guys are going to do three, four, and five by yourself. If it doesn't have a denominator, you just skip that step. So then you would move the x over first. So like number three, it doesn't have a denominator, so you just skip the step, and then you're going to do, um, you're going to move the x, and then if a is negative, multiply everything by negative one. Okay, so try number three, th three four, and five.